This is code.org. That's what we're doing. The character and the string each have an index. Oh, yeah. So the characters, this is a string, right? Like this long thing. This is a string. Anything in quotes, that's one string. So what they mean by that is indexes, and remember they start at zero. The letter T here of long, longest country, the letter T is index of zero. This character H is index of one index of two the space would be index three so on okay string dot substring start end okay so we're cutting up strings the start and the ending index returns a portion of the string beginning at start index and ending at the letter before the end index do this run the code to see how these two new commands work run okay follow the pattern in the starter code to print the name length and first character character of the longest country and city name in the council all right so longest oh wow that's a long city okay that's the longest country all right okay so we need to print the name length and first character all right let's do this uh, so to the council so first we need to go to uh, use the council log and we need the country's, oh, let me reset. First, the just the country's name, okay? Of the longest country and city in the world. So first, just the country's name. Well, to print something like that, it's a variable. We don't want quotes around it, but we can just write long, oh, longest country. Or we can do it right here like they did in an example. So maybe I want to put quotes and write longest country so we know what it is because then we can print this out and then do a plus sign make sure you put a space and it would look like that and now to get the length of it right we're going to do exactly what they did law longest animal dot length will return how many characters how many letters is in it so council log just like they did i'm following their example and they're using plus signs just like you would in math those aren't something fancy and We'll copy theirs, kind of. All right, so it has space, so we get a space. And then what are we using? Longest dot, oh, country dot length. will give us the length plus space characters. You can't see that. So it has blah, blah, blah characters. And I can, I guess they don't have that. Okay, now what? Well now we need this its first letter is and this is a bit tricky so let's go ahead and do another council and delete all that we need its first letter is so i'm going to head over to math again and do a plus and we only need one of them and then i'm going to do a substring and that's right here so its first letter is in quotes substring a substring of what longest country okay and then what do we want just the first character so we want to start at what then well this first index i want to start at zero right if i want just the first letter if i want just this letter and again these are indexed at zero zero index one index two three is the space so i would want to start at zero and I want to stop at one and that will give me just the first character and it, they kind of give it away with this. So let's give that a try. Yep. And guess what? Now that we know how to do it, it's real easy to do the next one. I'm going to kind of, I'm just going to copy control C control P and then, or command on a Mac. I'm going to change out these variables longest city. Because it works no matter what your string or list is. Let's test. But, uh, wow, that is a long city name. <laughs> Starts the K. Yeah. Substring super handy. And just to point out, if we did, uh, here, I know for the country it should be H. So I want to show you. What if we did zero to, what if we did one? to three for substring 
we really do want to get a hang of this, so I'm going to show you this. If we did 1 to 3, H, E, well, what is that? Well, we did 1, so it says, okay, not this index, T, this index. That's index 1. Now, what's the next thing? E, okay, that's index 2, oh, and 3, stop. So it prints out H, E. But again, they want 0 to 1 for this. Uh, cool. We did it. Onward.